who draws. Hi, my name is Kurt and I'm a dad who loves to draw. Well, today I'm going to show you step by step how to draw an African lion. This guy is great. He's standing on his front paws. He's looking off in, into the wind. The wind is blowing his mane. Man, he is the best. First thing we're going to do is to draw the head. And you want to start with a small circle. And what's great is about our line here, he's going to be standing in the wind. Let's go ahead and draw our center line. This is this gives us the idea of which direction he's looking. And since he's looking three quarter view, we want to make sure that we've put that line a little bit off off center and to his right. And let's come down with the right hand side of his face. And you can see I've just got a straight line there. And let's go ahead and put his uh, lower jaw in. And then over on the left hand side, let's drop this line just ever so slightly and then connect these two. So that that's the shape that your your head should look the head of the lion there. Let's go ahead and put his uh, nose in now. Put our eye line in. And we're going to we're going to keep using that same direction there to get these ears in. And draw lightly because we're going to come back over all this with a darker line. Little curves there for his ears. Okay. Let's get the center part of his nose. And then a small V at the bottom there. All right, his eyes now, let's drop his eyes in. His eyes are almost like two right angles. And then we're just gonna curve this and make him like slits. We don't wanna make him too big. And then his nose, let's come in here like this. Whoa, hey, if you're liking this video, go down there and give me a thumbs up. You got this. All right. Let's get his mane in now. Now as for his mane, we're going to use a, uh, a big rectangle to try and help guide us. So let's keep this uh, pretty light here. And you wanna make sure that there's more of his mane on the left side than the right. That's because it's gonna be blowing in the wind and the wind is blowing all of his mane to the left-hand side there. Right about where his um, eye, his right eye is, is I'm gonna drop a line here to guide me with his feet or his paws. And this paws is gonna be a three-quarter view, so we wanna give it a little bit of a ground plane Come back in here with a little bit of a curve and a small straight line. And then we're gonna come back up for the rest of his foot there. All right, let's continue down here to extend his other paw just slightly there. And let's curve that around. And there, and we'll continue his feet like that. All right, let's go ahead and now continue this ground plane. I'm gonna come right about to there. And then up here, right, up, right below the chin, I'm just going to have a nice big curve. Let's get his hind leg in here now. And then his foot's gonna come down like this. All right. And then let's get his tail in here and we're gonna just come up here like a tail. And on the uh, furry part, the end of, end of his tail, we wanna make sure there's more fur kind of on the inside part because once again, that's where the wind is going to be, 
going to blow. All right, we're coming right up on our five minute mark here, but we're gonna go over a little bit so we could really get his mane looking great, all right? So let's go ahead and, and let me show you now, we're gonna use that square as a guide. I'm gonna go big, small, big, small. All right, I'm gonna change direction here a little bit. I keep thinking of like big, small, trying to be, be varying varying the uh, pieces so there's some interest here and then on this side we're going to just start squiggling a little bit down here and then a couple of them we want to come in like this you see that and then let's come in here with another little bit a layer here so we get some of his mane that's overlapping okay that looks that looks pretty good now let's in the next next minute here just kind of uh, get some going with darker lines and we could really uh, get this thing to read nicely okay yep Yeah, I'm just kind of overdrawing my lines now. Get some whiskers in here. Really trying to define this right side of his head there. So it's uh, really get a sense of the wind. Just, I'm not emphasizing all of my lines, just some of them. This is just a sketch, an idea. All right, great. Let's go ahead and get these paws in here now. Make sure you have a little bit of an overlap there and then an overlap there. And I'm gonna get that bottom part nice and uh, dark there so there's like, he's there's weight on it. Make sure you put these toes off to the left. Now watch how I do the toes on the other foot. They're more evenly spaced out. This, this will give a sense that this foot is looking straight at us, where the uh, the other one is at a three three quarter angle. Let's get this in here. I'm going to add a couple more uh, toes there. Nice solid straight line. Get that back. Let's finish this off with his tail here. And there you go. There is our lion, quick sketch lion. I hope you enjoyed that. Check out the uh, color version and you can color it. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Great drawing everyone.